Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. May our good Lord bless you, guide, and protect you all the days of your life. I pray for you today. Everything you touch, everything you do that is good, Almighty God will see you through. Our topic today is God will make a way. God will make a way in time of your trouble, your trials, your temptation, your trusting, and your transgressions. In the book of Isaiah 43, verse 10, 19, notice the phrase in verse 16 and verse 19, make a way. As we go through the word of God, and as you study the history of Israel, you will find out that God always made a way for them. He made a way to get them out of Egypt. He made a way for them to cross the Red Sea. He made a way for them in the crossing of the wilderness. And he made a way for them to go into the promised land. Just as he made a way for them. He will and can make a way for you. And I know I'm glad that the God we serve is a God of great power. God is unchangeable. Therefore, as he made a way for them, he can make a way no matter what the need is. Your generation that will look unto him. Today, let us look at some of the ways he can make a way for us. I, God, will make a way in the time of trouble. Psalm 50 verse 50, 15. Psalm 50 verse 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee and that shall glorify me. You might say, Madam or preacher, I don't have any trouble. Well, put this message in your hip pocket because you will need it later. The Bible gives testimony to two great men in the Bible. One was Job in the Old Testament and Paul in the New Testament. But one thing these men both had in common was that they faced many troubles. But from time to time, God made a way for them. And there is a story that is told of a survivor of a shipwreck was thrown on an inhabited island. After a while, he managed to build himself a hut in which he placed the little that he had saved from the wreck. He prayed to God for deliverance and anxiously scanned the horizon each day to hell and passing ship. One day on returning from a hut for food, he was horrified to find his hut in flames. All he had gone gone up in smoke the worst has happened it seems but that which seems to have happened for the worst was in reality for the best the next day ship arrived we saw your smoke signal the captain said if our lives are in god's hands all things work together for good romans chapter 8 verse 28 amen in Psalm 138, verse 7, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou will revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thy hand against the rod of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The word of God is true. What is it that you're going through today? What made you to weep and cry? Some of you don't sleep at night because of what you're going through in life. I'm here to tell you that God will make a way for you. The book of Psalm 91 verse 15 said, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. God will make a way in time of trials. 1 John 3, 13. Marvel not, my brethren, if the word hits you. This scripture tells us that we will have trials and afflictions from this word that you and I live, this word. We need to remember that this word that we live is very simple. They brought Jesus Christ and nailed him on the cross. This word hated Jesus and they will hate you as long as you are a child of God. The reasons many are not having many afflictions is that they are giving into the word. They are going along with the word. Okay, so when you are a child of God, you need not to fear because Almighty God will make a way for you. God must surely make a way 
book of Corinthians chapter 10, 13. Christ in your heart does not mean that you will no longer have problems. The Lord said it plainly in the book of John 16, 33. In this world, you will have trouble. Christians are not Christians. We will both encounter problems in this life. God will make a way in time of your trouble, your trials, your temptation, your trusting and your transgressions. God will make a way for you. Just what you have to do is believe in God. Believe that God Almighty will make a way for you. Trust in Him. Just believe and trust in Jesus. He will make a way for you where there is no way. God will make a way. Even after we make excuses, He will take us out of our comfort zone. Let us discuss about Moses here. Sometimes when God is talking to us, some of us, we don't believe. Because of what we have gone through in life, we sometimes behave like Moses. Then Moses answered, But suppose they do not believe me or listen to me, but say, The Lord did not appear to you. The Lord said to him, What is it that in your hand? He said, The staff. And he said, Throw it on the ground. So he threw the staff on the ground, and it became a snake. And Moses drew back from it. Then the Lord said to Moses, Reach out your hand and seize it by the tail. So he reached out his hand and grabbed it. And it became a staff in his hand, so that they may believe that the Lord, the God of their ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has appeared to you. Again, the Lord said to him, Put your hand inside your cloak. He put his hand into, into his cloak. And when he took out, his hand was leprous, was like a leprous man. And then God said, Put your hand back into your cloak. So he put his hand back into his cloak. And when he took it out, it was restored like the rest of his body. Hallelujah. Almighty God, make a way for you. But Moses said to the Lord, Oh my God, I have never been eloquent. You know, some of us, when Almighty God is talking to us, we answer so many things, we say so many things, because our faith is not strong. Make, your, make up your faith today and believe that that thing you're looking for, Almighty God will make a way for you. Are you looking for the fruit of the womb? God will make a way. Have you been disappointed before by people? God will make a way. Just believe in the Lord. Just believe in the word of God Almighty. That God Almighty will make a way for you. He later delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of Pharaoh. Where we are just live, uh, reading. God did it. And what is it that God cannot do for you? Is there anything God cannot do for you? It's No. We are reading the book of Exodus chapter 4 verse 1 to 13. You saw what God did. How the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea. But the enemy, Pharaoh, did he cross? No. He died. So Almighty God will fight for you no matter what you're going through. However, whatever you are going through, my God will make a way for you. Even though the enemies are everywhere. Even though they are 1,000, 2,000, 1 million, God will make a way. He cannot take God anything to fight for you. Just His word. His word only will set you free. God will make a way. And when you trust in the Lord, when you believe in the Lord, and take everything you want to do to God Almighty at all times, He will make a way. Just believe He will make a way for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.